Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a new video. We are going to do something different. We're going to, well I'm going to take a bus to Decathlon. I'm going to get some gear preparation for upcoming big day. So this is going to be the first time uh, in a while that I went on the bus. Um, it's like a lot song tail, which is, uh, I've seen it outside, so it's around 30 baht, so yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, so I am here outside the bus, just going to have a little break. The uh, bus will leave around 15 minutes, so I'm going to use this bus here, which is uh, just outside the hotel, uh, Phuket to Patong. So this goes to central Phuket, and I'm only paying around uh, 30 baht, but it's a slow one, but it's okay. So I want to try something different, something a bit, uh, different journey, and yeah, so I don't mind really in a rush, but I probably could do some saving some money as well. So get some stuff there and then we'll be heading up to the next location so yeah actually Phuket looks really uh, Patong actually this is a beautiful sunny day here so quite a few people I think later on there'll be more people playing Songkran so we will have to wait and see how busy we'll get later on just letting you guys know the the bus here are really cheap and quite common too so just really easy and they're actually like yellow and blue so they said Phuket to Patong and that's in Thai and also they have other buses right behind which are the same waiting so there's three and they leave every 30 minutes so which is great and so yeah so just keep that in mind every 30 minutes and you can catch on the bus and just pay the, the driver at the end which is 30 baht we're gonna hop on the, the bus now so these old casual Thai buses Quite big, lots of space too. Okay, I've been here before. I it's been a while since I think the last time when there was run in 2015. But pretty comfortable. I mean, it's a typical local Thai uh, lot song tail, and yeah. So I think we're gonna have a good journey at least. At the meanwhile. It's it's not raining but uh, possibly it could be raining soon from what I can see it's pretty cloudy outside a few grey clouds coming out soon right there so yeah uh, hardly anyone here and very spacious too so yeah what could go wrong they said that the, the bus would be pretty slow but I didn't feel like the thing would be this slow I think the driver is chilling so yeah we're on our way now, um, just leaving around 12.20 So yeah, a lot of people are walking at the moment Let's see okay, So far so good, it's just a bit quiet for some time So here we have it ladies and gentlemen, we got uh, Patong around half past 12 in the afternoon Everything's still a bit quiet. I think people are starting to get ready to go out soon. It's gonna get busy later on. So the good thing is that at least that when going on the bus here, that's slow. You see a lot around Patong, and yeah, as you can see and observe left and right the beach side or the the nightlife side, which is opposite the beach. We've got Molly Tarvin. McDonald's, the typical Phuket Tuk Tuk taxi. It's always expensive. So, the local shops are back now. New coffee shop. That looks good. I think I'll, I'll give that a go one day. It's nice. I haven't seen that in a while. Here's the famous Bangla Road guy in the afternoon. Very quiet. It'll be busy later on for sure. Up here we're just having snacks and stuff. So we're just chilling. We see a lot of expats here. Before this wasn't uh, open, they're all shut down during the pandemic around April 2021. Like I showed you last time in my previous videos. Yeah, so things are slowly coming back to life. Get your 
stuff's all still wet. So yeah, it's it's been a while, but it's it's been a long time since we played Sunfront. And I'm not gonna play Sunfront. I think I'm just gonna chill out a bit and just see see if I get wet, I get wet. So if it, if I do, I do. festival Phuket so it took around 35 minutes uh, not bad that's why we had a slow start but it was not bad for uh, Lord Song Tell so paid 30 baht can't complain uh, it was a good ride and I saw a lot of it on the way so we're not here to go to uh, Central Festival we're gonna go Decathlon and get some stuff there I just entered Central Phuket it's really quiet uh, I think everybody is uh, mainly in the, the main area. Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived at the decathlon. So let the shopping begin. I think during some kind of this time, I could use one of these bags instead of carrying like three. So yeah, I always carry like three bags. So yeah, um, let's have a look. Right, we got some surfing UV shirts, long sleeves, short sleeves. I think that'd be useful for surfing. So just find the right size now. Yeah, so these come really handy. Uh, really good material and and a reasonable price too, around 300 baht. So I just did the shopping at Decathlon. Got a few bits and pieces. Got another shirt, uh, bigger size this one, a uh, snorkeling bag. And basically, I'm getting ready for the snorkeling uh, trip, which I'm gonna plan for myself. And here's a mask, just a, got a, a decent, just a good size, comfortable chi mask, and a good valve uh, to stop the water coming in. So yeah, a decent, good valve. And a bag too, uh, so I can put the, the other bags and stuff right down here. Just makes it much easier. Instead of carrying like three different separate bags, just, I can buy this bag for like 30 baht, and then just put everything inside. So yeah, uh, right now, I'm gonna call a taxi. And then we're gonna be, I'm gonna be heading off to a cafe forest. Uh, I don't know the name, it starts with a G, but uh, first time here, and it's just really nice and chill, so we're gonna give that a try and, and then maybe head off to the beach later on. Alright, we have just arrived at Gomenoki uh, Chilla Bar in the, in the forest, the woods. As you can see it looks really beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Can't wait. Just a little star here in the middle of the woods which is really nice. Would you happy? Wow, it looks really nice. Look at that. So you just have like these uh, chairs here which you can sit. So I'm gonna order something and uh, get something as well. Uh, maybe take some phone drone photos and some cinematics as well. Yeah, so I just ordered uh, my drink here. Um, I got the Kyoto Matcha Latte right here. And it was something, so I might try something different. Uh, I haven't had a lot uh, green matcha latte in a long time. So yeah, I uh, want to try something different. Usually I always have I'm more like a coffee person. But yeah, uh, this is basically what they have here is really nice. Just uh, one man making coffee and then in the middle of the woods with like such chill vibes. Uh, I think he also grinds coffee. He uh ta grind coffee bean doi chamai hap ki toni hap machine ni hap. Oh, machine hap toni pen kung bot. Kung bot. Look at this. So luckily, uh, there's not many people. Just me, guy, and then uh, two other people there. So yeah, just really nice 
pleasant to be in the woods, lots of shade too, and I think it's you, I think it's just really nice to be here. It's just really different. I think it's a, a unique place to be here and a reasonable lot, few selections of drinks too. Uh, so yeah, give that a try for yourselves, guys. There you can see like the man making coffee. While waiting for the man to make uh, my drink, I'm gonna just take some photographs and just observe more of the area here. So I just bought two of the lens. I'm gonna use the 20 mil and the 35 mil. Uh, I get a nice wide shot of this whole beautiful lane of trees here. I think these are rubber trees, by the way. They're quite commonly seen in Phuket if you come here around the roads especially when you come down from the airport and right here you have this nice two chairs which are uh, as you can see in the photos a lot of people sit here and take photographs so yeah look at all this like land of uh, trees it's really nice so yeah I can just imagine like uh, flying the drone right over there and swing it right back to here and having a cup of coffee that would be like a great Instagram photo, so yeah, let's take some photographs and I'll get to it and show you guys, yeah. Alright, so I just finished having the, the coffee break here in this lovely place in the, the rubber tree woods so really nice just waiting for my driver now heading up to Naihan to chill with a friend and then we'll see where things go so yeah really nice I, I love this place it's, it's really relaxing I love it it's really cozy too so here how it looks like when you're at the entrance so yeah come here next time for the chill out for sure